I'm going to use the most advanced creative AI in the world to create portrait photographs without a camera. I'm a French experimental photographer and I live in Paris. For my photographic work, I use digital and thin cameras. And like everyone else since the beginning of photography, I use real human models to create portraits. But what if I could change that? Recently, I had access to DALI 2 by OpenAI, the most advanced creative AI in the world that can create photorealistic images from a text description. The model is trained on millions of images found on the internet. I posted a first video showing how I use DALI to create a collection of camera designs inspired by famous characters. To be able to compare my results, I need to keep the same main subject for all my portraits and add some ingredients that will always be the same. So, I decided that I will shoot a human model in a tropical greenhouse and she will wear a yellow kimono. These elements need to be in every picture. At first, the lack of information about the camera, the lens and the general look of the image led to rather unimpressive results. So to help Dali, some details must be added to the general description. Like the lens, the camera, the film and adding some words like bokeh. The best results came after adding the word Graflex. The Graflex cameras were large format cameras that were very sharp in the center but with a very strong bokeh. This artificial intelligence is still very young, so there is a lot of trial and error with human faces. For each test, you have some great results and you also have some pretty horrible ones. Some of those faces are going to haunt my dreams. Now that we have some pretty good results, we can see that DALI has some problems with the eyes of the models. One solution I found is to run the image in Photoshop's new neural filters. Then I asked the AI to change the direction of the eyes. Every time a portrait has funky eyes, Photoshop fixes it. All I need to do is to choose the right direction for the eyes to look at the camera. Ok, now that we have some pretty amazing results, let's see how crazy we can go. First, we can change the age of the model. We can change its gender. We can change her skin color and her ethnicity. We can add some face paint. We can also use some crazy props.
we can give our children and we can have different people on the same image and we can give her a pet. We can also use different cameras and techniques. I think that if I posted some of these portraits on Instagram without any explanation, most of my followers will not detect that it's not a real photo. And that's mind-blowing. After this experiment, I feel that we reached a moment in the history of photography that we can't ignore. Those results are absolutely insane. This is one of the most important evolution of image making since digital photography, in my opinion. I haven't felt this excited about a new technology since I first played with a video game as a child. Are photographers going to be extinct soon? I can't say. One thing is sure, Evolution is about adapting to changes. And photographers can adapt to this new tool and learn to use it to create incredible images. Or they can just decide to ignore it and refuse to see that the world of image making is going to change very fast. And sadly, if they do nothing, it will change without them. For me, this new technology will impact photographers' creativity in a good way, and I can't wait to see what amazing things will be made using AI. I would like to give a huge shout out to my supporters on Patreon. Thank you so much for believing in my channel and supporting my work. This support helps me create the videos I want to make instead of chasing trends. If you are watching and you want to help me keep that freedom, head over to my Patreon. And if you're interested in AI used to restore a 100-year-old photo, you should check this video next.